Hello, in this tutorial, I'm just going to install PyCharm uh, on a Windows machine and then just take you through the, the first steps of setting up a Django project. So PyCharm is a great uh, integrated development environment for developing with Django and Python. Um, head over to the uh, PyCharm website, uh, jetbrains.com, and then we're just going to be downloading the professional version. So it's probably worth noting that the professional edition uh, can be accessed as a student. Uh, so you'll be able to get a, a license for the full version. Else you can trial the professional version for 30 days. So once downloaded, you just need to go ahead and install the software. I like to uh, associate all my PY files with it. Um, and then add launchers directory to the path. Other than that, and selecting obviously where you want to install it, it's a simple process. Uh, once completed, we're open and started a Django project. So you will need to restart the machine once it's finished installing, so go ahead and install. So create a new project for Django in PyCharm is relatively straightforward. Once you open the program, create a new project, you'll be presented with a list here on the left hand side we can select Django and then we can set up the environment so with this software it does automatically build a virtual environment for you uh, so you just need to select the project folder and then the project name and then the virtual environment will be installed inside of that project folder as well as the Django files um, so we've got the base interpreter so if you haven't installed Python, uh, just head over, to, head over to the Python website and just download for Windows. So that should be set up. Now we can press create. So you will find with Windows that uh, a message window defender might be impacting the build and the IDE performance. So if you just press fix, and then configure automatically. That will sort that problem out. Once the project has finished loading, you can see that we've got the virtual environment inside the project one folder, as well as the Django. And in the terminal, you can see that we're working in the virtual environment. So we can start the project here, but it is just quicker typing in the commands. To see if this server is working. So you can see that that starts up nicely and then go into your browser and that should start up. There we go. So that's how to start a Django project and get uh, PyCharm installed on a Windows machine. So don't forget that uh, you need to have Python installed on your machine, otherwise this process won't work. For some of the tutorials that I'll go through, it can be handy to have Jupyter Notebook or Jupyter Labs, um, and that can easily be installed via the command prompt if you have Python installed. So you're going to need Python, uh, the M switch, uh, pip install notebook. So that's going to download and install the notebook for you. To start, Notebook, simply just type in the command prompt, give it a notebook, and the program will start. And there we go. So it's just a case of now uh, selecting a new notebook. And yep, the notebooks are running. So that concludes our tutorial here. A simple installation guide for uh, PyCharm. Uh, a quick guide on how to set up a Django project. And then as a little bonus, we installed Jupyter Labs.